We're also working developing news tonight. The search for a missing Pawtucket woman is over. As we first reported on Eyewitness News at noon, 21-year-old Luisa Pena was found safe and sound today. Pena, who is pregnant and has a developmental disability, has been missing for a week. And today, emotions ran high as her family found out that she was alive and well. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace joins us now live with the developing details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. And Mike, one week ago today, Luisa Pena disappeared. Today, her family got the news they've been hoping for, praying for, really. Luisa has been found safe. I her daughter. A mother's cry of relief and joy. She's overjoyed. Her daughter has been found. Her daughter has been found. Annie Baroa is trying to make sense of it all. Reacting to the news, her daughter, 22-year-old Luisa Pena, has finally been found. My heart was broken in pieces. She's my everything. Police say an informant first recognized Pena on Fountain Street in Pawtucket just before noon. Who called the Central Falls Police and informed them that he thinks he recognized the missing woman from a flyer that he had seen. Pena had been missing for exactly one week, and her emotional family and friends became more anxious by the hour. Her family tells us she's three months pregnant with an intellectual disability and profound speech impediment. Now, seven long days later, Luisa Pena is safe. It's a wonderful feeling to be involved in that and this all come to fruition with everyone's assistance. It's a great feeling, a great relief off our, uh, off our shoulders. We have a lot of peace now that we know our daughter is here. And just before she disappeared, Pena's family says she told them she had been assaulted. Police say they are looking into that allegation. Coming up new at 6, Pena's family was going to hold a vigil at 6 o'clock here at Spring of Life Church. They say that vigil will still be going on, but this time is to thank the community and the police. We will bring that vigil to you live at 6 o'clock. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.